Welcome to Kinky Land. May I take your fantasy? I'm a kink here, kink she a kink with some kinks. Wouldn't you like to be a kink too? I'm a kink here, kink she a kink with some kinks. Wouldn't you like to be a kink too? Come on, everybody, and get kinky with me. They call me the kinky K I D. Okay, so. What's up? This is the Kinky Kid. I got Sweet Bee in the background. She'll be dipping in and out. Ah. We just watched the... We just watched... First, we watched... What's her name? Esther Baxter. We watched Joe Budden's girlfriend have an interview where she talked about that her uh, approaching Joe about, you know, inappropriate activity on Twitter that he beat her up, you know, and made her miscarry their baby. And then we watched, well, then we listened to the song that he made about the situation. Now, my thing is, one thing I try to tell people all the time is that you need to know who it is that you're getting with. I myself am responsible for doing that, jumping into a relationship with somebody who was very charming, who swept me off my feet, basically, and then when we got to the point where we started living together and shit, he turned to a monster. You know, women, you all have to, you have to care more about yourself to make sure that these men are worthy of you. You know, we have to do that. And just listening to the song, even he was hurt. You know, he, yeah, you could, tell. You it, was could a lot of emotion. it was a lot of emotion in that song. I mean, he, it was right. very, for one, I get a man credit for being lyrical. Lyrically, he's a beast because he, we saw the whole situation like we was watching it in the movie. Yeah, you, you know, you're supposed to read a story and you get the picture, and you, it's called Your Mind's Eye. Yeah. Yeah. We saw everything. We saw everything. So the song to me, I mean, you could tell was, why like I could see him being up under Eminem because the way he described that, that's how Eminem is as far as being lyrical mm -hmm. to the point where you can. It was almost like out of a diary. That's hip hop. Like a journal. Like, <laughs> I, like, I'm, I'm I mean, mad. I'm pissed. And he jotting everything. He did everything right. in there. And, but at the same time, dude, that's too much. Yeah. That's too, that's too motherfucking much. You gave out too much goddamn past, business. And did, if she if she was one if she was out. stupid enough to drop the charges on your ass so it wouldn't go public and now you just try to save face wrote that's this song want, even thinking that this is going to make you better, you know, you fuck you write that's the type of shit you write down and leave in your motherfucking notebook and every few months you open that motherfucker read it and you smoke you one and let that shit go. You know what I'm saying? That's some stupid shit. Real talk. I mean, you just putting it out there that you a bitch ass nigga. Real. That's how. That's how I see it. Cause only a bitch ass nigga would do some shit like that. How, how, do, how do you gloat about the fact and find joy in, 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 in killing your child? And then you want to sit it up here, about the female regardless woman. however you feel about her, she was something to make you go head over heels for her in the first place. So it got to be something about her. She wasn't no hold in. She wasn't no hold in. I mean, you say in this song, you say she was living with somebody when you met her. The guy wasn't no good to her, so you finally got her out of there. Then for one, how you gonna re? How you you the rebound nigga? You the rebound so nigga. Now who the hoe? So who really? You knew this motherfucker. If you just know a bitch leaving a nigga, you don't pull that bitch in your crib. You like you better go to your mama house. You, you go to your captain sister house, right? Come on. But now you want to try to be captain save a hoe, and because that shit didn't work, now you want to sit out and publicly disrespect her. You think Play people? You think people gonna think your dick big? You was, you was number two. And anyway. what's so fucked up is that these hoes out here still love and fuck and suck them. Cause oh, that's Joe Budden. Yeah, but he's a sick individual. Real talk. You can tell by the lyrics in his song. You can tell by the way he put a woman that he once said he loved just out on blast like that. If not for her, for the respect of her son. If she ain't got enough respect for her son, you supposed to be a man to have enough respect for that motherfucker. Now you running her name in the mud and, and along then, with her child. Right. But she, oh, she was a mother. Oh, she was good enough to be a mother to your child before this, but now she's not good enough to be a mother to the child she already has. That's some stupid ass that's shit. Probably. Anybody that listens to that and think you the man, they need they ass smacked too. Because that's some stupid ass shit. Real talk. I mean, it upset me. I mean, I saw her and I was thinking, yeah, she looks her, but at the same time, she, I know just want she could be a hoe, you know? She could be a hoe. But then when I listened to your song, you verified everything this woman said. 
You know, you put it out there, you and there's people gonna be like, yeah, that, that nigga got her, he put on. No, that was straight motherfucking ignorance. That was straight disrespect. That was just real dirty. I mean, I don't think you should have. I just think that that was the wrong way to do that. Two grown ups, two grown ups. You out here in the industry, you a public figure, and you gonna let motherfuckers know how stupid and, and ignorant you, you are. I bet you her son looked up to him. Yeah, he probably did. A, you know what I'm saying? As a man. He probably did. And I hope that one day he could listen to this and know the type of bitch ass nigga you are. Because only a bitch ass nigga would stoop that low. Put his mom out like You that. know that you caused the miscarriage of your child. And you're going to publicly put it out there like that validates you because you had some issues with how she acted because her ass too big or because it's a lot of people who want to fuck her. I ain't nobody and it's a lot of people who want to fuck me. But I'll be damned if somebody beat my ass because of it. It's a lot of motherfuckers that want to fuck everybody. Somebody right, you ain't, right. somebody. So that's inevitable. Well, was your money not big enough? You didn't like the fact that she had a pro football player? Well, pro football players make more than little rappers, huh? So now you got to tell her business because you mad. I hope she is with a motherfucker who love and respect and got a big enough bank to realize he ain't got to be a little dick nigga. Real talk. Because that's some bullshit. On, on nobody to control them. No. Putting your hands, first of all, if you in the wrong, why would you want to intimidate somebody you love? And then for the both of you all, this is not just because I'm mad at her too because of the fact, why the fuck she come back to you? After you didn't killed her baby, why the fuck this bitch come back to you? And drop the charges. And drop the charges. But y'all started. Me, so both like, of your motherfuckers like, are cloudy in the motherfucking brain. Okay. Right. How the fuck y'all get back together yeah. after you caused the miscarriage of your child? Then y'all gonna try to reconcile, and then you got another bitch telling why you, you oh, she and come that? on. He's like, oh, my ex telling me, oh, ex to say that shit, nigga. Why, why you, you ain't special. You ain't special because your your ex is telling you, oh, sh I knew y'all wasn't never gonna work anyway, bitch. You happy. Maybe you could get back in. And his stupid ass, you gonna let him. What stupid ass bitch? Hey, what's up? Man, I just killed my baby. Can I come lay on your couch? Okay, come on. Stupid ass hoes. The fuck is wrong with you, motherfucker? No, you, motherfucker you, just, you just may have a miscarriage. Oh, you know. <laughs> I'm busy tonight, baby. But uh, call me in like 2019 or something. The fuck wrong with y'all? I'm just saying that kind of upset me because it just shows the ignorance of a lot of you motherfuckers out here. And not only on his part, but on her part, too. Oh, no, you're not innocent, motherfucker. He clearly said in that song that after he made you miscarry, after he whipped your ass, you still went back to him. So that means no matter how big your booty is, no matter how little your waist is, no matter how plump and juicy your titties are, you still a knucklehead ass bitch. That's what the fuck that means. Because it ain't enough love in this motherfucking world for a nigga to put his hands on me, kill my child, and for me to forgive him and lay back in another and fucking bed with him. You're one of those girls that's going to end up dead somewhere fucking around with people on some shit like that. Niggas will kill. You understand? It's niggas and bitches killing out of here because of dick and pussy. I ain't had no dick or pussy yet to make me want to kill a motherfucker, but you on your verge. Y'all need to leave each other alone. And then, oh, she came to L.A. and she said she, what the fuck y'all still talking why this nigga got your number why he know your schedule why he calling your friends he a fucking stalker and he put it in the song oh i called a friend friends that i ain't seen it and you got some bitch ass friends baby real talk your friends why probably want to fuck them like anyway that. real talk that's some crazy ass shit either. i've been blowing a phone up right real, that's your friend you continue to blow a phone up Anyway, that's just my take on the Joe Budden and Esther Baxter situation. So to all you little chicks out here, even the ones who your man ain't a big time rapper, but he's still whipping your ass and you still going back to him. I want you to sit back and look at this video of her. And then I want you to go look at the video of his song. And I want you to hear and look at how you resemble or pay. Are you a part of that fucking song? And if so, get your ass up and leave before you either end up dead or a nigga write some bullshit about you on Facebook or some Twitter shit. Well, I got well, you started, but you a murder yourself because you let them kill your babies. I gotta go. <laughs> Keep it kinky. <laughs> And Bye. thanks to my people in Blog TV and Kinky Land letting me know about this situation. Because this some bullshit. Guaranteed bitch-ass niggas out here. Fix yourself, nigga. Real talk.